Hey, okay, super supporters, here is yours. This time we're gonna do, I did a little sketch up. You guys can see that. A little sketch up, I'm gonna do a horse and rider on the plane. It's gonna be really wet and willy, really, willy. <laughs> <laughs> really drippy so um, we are gonna be using water and a lot of paint I'm gonna switch you guys around now got rid of my coffee so I don't dip in my coffee anymore today okay let's get our canvas all straightened out go down a little okay you can see the whole thing I'm gonna be doing it vertically because we're gonna have a lot of paint dripping and I'm doing all my paintings in one day so it's a mess of paint on here but basically you're gonna need blue purple black yellow red and white for this one pretty much all the colors no brown get your entire canvas really 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 wet because I want this to drip down so we're probably even adding more water to stuff later, but let's get this really wet because I want it to drip down just like the lines of water are dripping down. And if you guys are, my mom's probably gonna walk in here in a minute. She just sold her trailer. And uh, they just towed it away. She's a great big trailer that we need a truck for, and neither one of us are comfortable with it, so we sold it. And Dad's not here anymore, so he's not here to help. Okay, now my canvas is really wet. It's exciting. We are going to sort of sketch out Dude here on the horse, and uh, it's okay because it's going to change. I'm going to do that in uh, blue. So in the blue color, starting right in the center, we want to have a lot of drip down. Oh, shoot. Let's not start there. We want to have sky up here. So really light um, yellow. Add a little bit of water to yellow. There's my mom. Are you on the phone? I'm on the video. What's going on? Okay. She's being shh for me. Okay, so a little bit of yellow in through the sky. It's really watery so it's really going to drip down. Don't have to do the whole thing solid. We're going to throw a little bit of blue in there. Everything's going to drip down so super light drippy color. Let that dry because if I put blue on there right now it's going to turn green. Not the color I'm going for. In the bottom purple or light blue so really watery blue. And I want it to be light, so less than that. See that little bit there? Look how it's dripping down. That's what we're going for today. Don't fill the whole thing up. Okay, so there's horizon line. Ah, look how it's dripping. That's awesome. Now we're going to take purple. You throw some purple in there too. <laughs> purple and blue mixed together. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Super drippy. Go with it. Let it be drippy. You can see it all running down there. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let's uh, take a little bit of that watery blue. Mix a little bit in your sky here and there. Just so it's not completely yellow. Just a teeny little bit of blue in your sky here and there. Go flat. Let it come out. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I'm going to bring it real close so you guys can see. Look how it's starting to dribble in there. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's um, do a borderline um, purple. Let's go with purple. Right here, it's okay if we go all the way across. And purple hopefully that's straight it looks straight to me but I'm painting sideways purple right across there let's do purple planes so make a straight line across and then bring it down not too far because the rider is going to be in the center go across like this purple planes uh, take a little bit of 
watery black, say. Put a little bit of that in there, just so it's not all straight purple. And then some blue. purples and blues all. I'm going to just take the, my brush to the side like this and I'm going to tap around on it. Just experimenting here with you guys. I don't know how this is going to look. Maybe have another level of plain up there. More purple. Tapping it around. There you go. Okay, I'm, that's how I'm leaving that. It's all purpley and blue. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Over here. Maybe maybe it's just going to come like this, just so it looks like it's further away in the distance. And the lighter it is, the lighter it is, then the farther away it looks. Take all the water off your brush. Here's, here's a little trick. I mean, all the paint off your brush. So you got a little bit of water. Just leave it on the edge. Go right along the bottom of this with a little bit of water. Tapping, see the water's dripping down. Kind of want that. Then I'm going to add some more purpley blue right to the bottom of that. Oof, love it. Loving all the drippiness. Loving all the drippiness. Okay, now, so. There we go, we've got a little bit there, a little bit there with this guy. So now we're gonna draw a rider. He's gonna be dripping, but we're just gonna do him in blue for now to start with. So horse butt is just like, um, so here it is. It's gonna be just above your horizon lines there. So his horse butt is gonna go in the center. We can always make this bigger. But there's the horse butt. It's just a nice round rainbow. Okay, so it's gonna come down. And of course the horse legs come in a little bit. So it's gonna end up dribbling down like that. So basically that's the shape that you want. His tail is gonna be somewhere around here. All these colors are gonna change. Tail will be somewhere around here and then it's gonna be as long a tail as you want. It's gonna drip down. And dude on top. So his legs, I'm, I'm going to bring them. So if his waist is here and here, here's the dots. This is how wide his waist should be, right? Can you see my two dots? Not super wide. And from there, and they're up a little bit off the horse, and his legs going to come out this way and out this way, and then down and hanging. So 12 to like almost four o'clock, 12 to almost four o'clock, and then right at the right at the knee joint, we're gonna drop that sort of almost straight down to six, between six and seven. It's gonna come in close. We'll wait to see how long we want him to be before we give him some feet. Alright, so let's go up. Go straight up. He just hasn't got any shape yet. Straight up. Give him um, up here is where he's going to be. So his arm's going to come out a little bit and come right to about um, halfway down him before it comes in. Holding the reins. A little bit of an angle and right almost to where his knees. If you look where your elbow is, your elbows reach right the right into the small of your waist. So that's where his elbows are, right in the small of his waist. That's how you know how long to make them. So make his shoulders a little broader. Same with this one, round it a bit. Round the shoulders. Um, it's gonna be the same thing, coming down a little bit on this side and then back in. So from here we can make him come out just a bit here. So there you go, there's your shape of the dude. Hopefully that looks straight. It's a little, 
looks a little more on this side than the other side. So we'll just give him bigger shoulders. Does that look a little more even? Not yet. This guy's got big, broad shoulders. Big, broad shoulders. I love the way it's all dripping down. You guys are going to love this one. Okay, now with his head. It's kind of round, not a total circle. It's more like an oval. So say he's got like a long ponytail that comes down. And you can, you can stop and just put one feather on his head. Mine I decided to do like a whole headdress. So it almost looks like he has like a star on his head. It all depends on how you, uh, the look of your guy, whatever you want. So I'm going to leave that. Let's mix um, some color now. So I'm going to take, whoa, whoa, blue, stick it in the center. Some blue, oh, that's way too much blue. Easy on the blue, guys. Wash that off in case I need my yellow for later. Take a bunch of yellow. Mix that in. So I got a, a blue green color. So it is going to be mostly uh, a bluey green. Let's add a little white and see what happens there. It's too green for me. I'm going to take a little more blue. This is completely up to you, whatever color you want. But I want mine to be a bluey green. Beauty and beauty. And my horse, I'm just going to throw some green over the top of his butt and drag that down. I'm going to have that quite heavy on there. Start one color at a time. Drag that down. Then take your color off that brush and go over it with some water. A lot of water in there. And start thinning that out, which is Dip it in the water, put it back on the green, go over top of this. See how it's going to start dripping now? That's my first color. Let it drip. Who cares how far down it goes? It's all good. I'm leaving that there. Okay, now I'm going to take that and I'm going to go um, into some blue. Water down some blue. Back over this again with some blue. Water down blue. So just take some water, put it into the edge of your blue. So you've got some water down blue. Just go, keep going over top of that where it is. More water, straight water. I'm just experimenting. I have no idea what this is going to look like. But blues and greens look really good together. Blue. Alrighty. Do I have enough on there? The shape of my horse. Love it. As that dries, we'll be able to darken this back up again. Throw some more of the green back on. Right now, the green will just disappear, but I mean, you can try because the canvas is really wet, so it won't really pick it up. Just keep the shape of your horse. Just got some more here, more green in here. Legs have to come down a little farther. If your legs are all washed out, look at it proportionally. Make sure that the legs are long enough with solid color. All right, black. We need to black. Got to do the tail. Up to you how long you want your tail. But I'm just running it, letting it run down. This is so pretty in real life. He's got black hair. Go ahead and 
color his hair black. And I like how it's it's coming down too. Because everything's got that downward look to it right now. So with his body, I am going to make um, a blue-black color. So take some blue, mix it with a little bit of black. So we've got a deeper, a deeper blue. Make that a little bit watery. So mix some black with some blue. It's going to be deeper. And here we're going to go over his whole body. So rounded shoulders. So if my shoulders were too square there, I'm just going to leave them for now. Go down where we decided his body was going to be. So now you can kind of see his shape. His legs came out this way. His legs came out this way. And then down along the horse. You don't want these to be too far off the horse. Because then he'll just look really, really fat. They are going to drip in parts too, but let's see how proportional. Where would his feet go? Maybe here and here. So they're just little angles of that direction. Bring it down to that, right into the horse for that part. Go ahead and color all of that in with your blue black color. I know you don't see his hair right now. You will. You will see his hair. Where's the red, you say? Don't you worry. We're going to be going red. When I took a trip to the Grand Canyon, um, I was watching some artists. There were all a bunch of artists hanging over the edge of the Grand Canyon. There's sort of a shelf there that you can climb over this. Um, they have a rockery, kind of a, a knee length wall uh, rockery. And then you can go over and just on top of, um, this one's a bit thick. It's thick. I think this is too thick. I think it's too thick. Watch this. Just with some water, I'm going to carve it away and it doesn't matter that if it rolls down because it's a drippy painting. If you think that one's too wide, clean your brush off with paint. Just have um, water on your brush. Just start carving it away. See where it goes. Oh, it's dripping off his shoe. Well, that's okay. If you carve too much of it away, don't worry about it. And if you don't like his feet, Here's what you do. Carve away his feet. Just keep touching it with water. Let it drip down. No big deal. It's kind of a drippy painting. Back to his hair with some black because it's losing its color. I think I would have liked him narrower. I would have liked him narrower. I wonder if I can do that. I'm looking at it sideways, but when I look at what you guys see, is it this knee? That knee is too far out. I like this that I can just go with my pointy little brush and just carve away with water and let it drip wherever it, wherever it wants to go. You think that that knee's in the wrong spot? It's too high. How's that look? Oh, that's better. The other side. Just keep using a clean brush with water on it. Let the water take it away. Let the water take it away. If you take too much away like that, don't worry about it. We can always bring it back in later. You guys, this looks so God, it does look so good. A little less water here. I'm going to get rid of these shoulders that I first, first did. I 
All right, headdress. I'm going to throw a little bit of uh, red in that. Just so it doesn't look like he's got, uh, <laughs> I don't know, look like he's got like weird punk hair or something. But I think I've seen movie headdresses like this. Leave it like that. Nice. Okay, are we good with the blue or we're not good with the blue yet? I haven't got his feet in there. I've got to put his feet back. Back to this blacky blue color. Don't even want to... This is all kind of jagged here and I like it. It's not what I intended at first, but it's working for me now. Okay, there's his feet coming off. I think that's a good height. Go back to my green because I've got a go back and fix this up a little bit. This little butt needs to be a little wider. Like I said, you can go back in after and add more color. Look at the ears. This leg over here needs to go a little longer with the green to make sense. Throw in some more green in here. Okay, like that. All right. Add some blue, some straight blue into here. I know it's wet. I'm just throwing blue in because I, I like the blue and the green mixed together. So this is just the straight primary blue. And it needs some red. But I think I'm going to do a little bit of blacky red first of all. So take a tiny bit of black and a little bit of red. Oops, sorry. And I just did a part of my, my red palette. That's all straight red. That's a little blacky red. Tiny, tiny little bit. I'm going to just throw some in here. Might have to do some black lines in there. Dude, you're cricket. It's a little cricket. Okay. All right. So with the red, here's the fun part. I'm gonna go around. Is he dry yet? It's not dry. Blow dry. I blow dry my guy. Oh, look how the red looks on the green. So deep. That's just straight red. Go around. Go around your horse's butt. It doesn't have to be perfectly around it. And it picks up the bit of the blues and stuff when it goes through here. Oh, wow. Love it. Love it. I'm going to go around some of his clothes here, too. Still need to work on his. He's not finished up there, by the way. So, watery red. Take some water in your red. Take some water in your red. We're going to go around the edges here and let this drip. So I want to have a lot of watery red right around here. We can always go back in again with some green. Got to get that dripping. Dripping with color. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. Maybe a little 
we'll add the tail just a little bit. If you want to stop dripping anywhere, just quickly touch right there and your brush will absorb that water spill. Like say you don't want all your drips coming to the bottom. Right where the water's settling, just touch it really lightly with your brush. The brush sucks in the water and it stops dripping. Look, I'm taking off some with a clean brush. I'm taking off some of this red around the horse's butt. Carving it out, it's too thick. If you think, I mean, I like to see the red in there. I really do. More black in the tail. More black in his hair. I'm even going to put a little bit more um, black here in his body. We're going to figure this out with um, highlights, with water, with uh, white. So now I'm painting his body black. Okay, take a little bit of white. Right up on here, you're going to have a tiny bit of white. I'm going to blend that in. Not where his hair is, right up on the shoulder, a little bit over here where the sun might have hit on there. The sun's going to hit this leg. A little bit there. See, so now you can see where his um, hair is. Tap it though, be messy because this is going to be a messy, drippy painting. not finished yet. Needs a little accessory. So with the black, here's where you're going to draw um, either this direction or the other direction. It's up to you. Let's go this way. It's easier for me. I'm going to draw a straight line right through his body to the other side. Should have been straighter. Whew, that was scary. And then there's going to be a few little straight lines here. Those are his arrows. Love it. So for the, I want to get myself in paint here. Let's give him um, a spearhead. So it's going to be like a little bit of a point. Um, how about red tassels coming down? Looking good, ladies. Looking good. Still something about his hair. his head up a little bit. Hmm. Maybe should have just had one feather here. One giant feather there. Hmm. Squaring your shoulders off. Squaring your shoulders off look a little better. Oh, I like it. I like it. I'm going to take a little bit of watered down black. Just want to wiggle a little line across here. Now that it's all finished dripping and stuff. Definitely does not have to be straight. Now it kind of looks like he's going somewhere, huh? Oof, yeah, 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 yeah. So the horse's butt look like it needs to be bigger. On that side, make it bigger. I 
like mix the red in with it. It's all it's all good. It didn't matter. Remember, it's a messy painting. Ah, oh, yes, very very nice, very nice. Maybe some white right here. A little bit of a highlight on the top of his butt. Does that look? That looks good. Does look good. Does look good. A little bit of a highlight over on this side. Yep. Have a little bit of white highlighting on his tail a little bit here and there. Like that. Okay, just a little um, highlight here in his hair, so you can see, it kind of helps actually. If it gets to be too much, maybe he's a, he's a gray, an old, an old native guy. Do I like the gray? I do, I do. I like the light on his shoulders. It has to be a darker bit right beside that. Something right there is not right. What is it? Let's come out that way just a bit. That's what much better okay um, I think that I need some clouds up there I don't know if they're gonna show it's pretty faint but uh, how about just take a blob of white throw some white clouds maybe the white cloud over here you can't see that but let me just want to get a little bit of something in here sideways clouds let's add a little purple the underbelly of those. See how I'm just wiggling sideways a little bit, adding a little purple to those clouds. These are like sideways desert clouds. Too much purple, just go back in and grab some white, throw it up on top, little spaces. Leave some darker purple. Beautiful. Beautiful. I feel like I need to have some more purple dripping down there. Which means I need to stick some more in here. Stick more purple right there. More purple right there. Clean your water out. Clean your brush off. Get all that off. I'm just gonna... A few more, a few more purple drips going down. You guys like it? I hope you like it. It's, it looks a lot more colorful on my end than what I'm seeing in the screen when I look back at you guys. Okay. Sign it. Don't forget to sign it. You could make your guy taller if you want. He could have gone a little taller. Stick with one stick with one feather on his head maybe a little better anyways um, guys that was fun with my uh, dripping colors so I don't know what I'm gonna have for you next week but I like that that's a little uh, Naha Navajo <laughs> Navajo uh, I like the purple colors um, when I was in the Grand Canyon um, they have that terracotta red Sonoma you know all those colors of rock um, like a terracotta pot and I always thought you would shade in black but you don't you shade in blue and that's why I'm going with the blues and purples because that was the shadow color back there I did not do the terracotta color but I really like this I hope you guys do too and we'll see you next week